Sade Kopp and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. I'm Chris Hausen, filling in for JP Mustanza. Today is Wednesday, September 28th. Now let's get to the news. Region 8 police in Phuket have held a press conference highlighting arrests made in the crackdown on scam operations in the area. According to the police, operation to break the horse's legs has so far netted 51 arrests in the jurisdiction. Although based in Phuket, Region 8 oversees police operations in seven southern provinces, including Ranong, Chumpon, Sudatani, Nakhon Si Tamarat, Krabi, Panga, and Phuket. Police officials have urged people to be aware of scammers using deceitful or threatening means to force people to transfer funds to unconfirmed accounts. People can submit complaints to the nearest police station or to the police cyber task force, a link to which you can find on our website, thepugetnews.com. Phuket police have responded to calls for action made online after a fistfight broke out over a food delivery in Chelong. The incident occurred last Saturday morning after a man, identified only as Sorisak, ordered food through an online service. However, during delivery, there was an error in the location coordinates. Then, when the driver arrived at the location where Sorisak actually was, negotiations began over extra payment for the delivery. That's when the fight started and the two men needed to be separated from each other. Both men agreed to meet at Chelong police station to resolve their differences before each being charged with physically assaulting another person and fined 1,000 baht. The Department of Mental Health has announced it is collaborating with the National Health Security Office to expand its services. The Ministry of Public Health emphasized the importance of tackling issues of mental health by taking proactive measures in developing a system to identify patients with possible mental illnesses. Wards are being established in hospitals nationwide to facilitate specialized treatment, while antipsychotics and other medications will be added to Thailand's national list of essential medicines. The ministry is also expanding courses to train more personnel while proactively working with agencies to address mental health concerns in local communities, academic institutions, and other areas. For more information and support, please contact public health officials by calling the 1323 hotline or through Smile Connect in the Line app. And street processions continued this morning as part of the Phuket Vegetarian Festival, with devotees from Sapin and Bangku Shrines taking to the streets of Phuket Town this morning. Honoring Chinese gods, devotees and spirit mediums led the caravan from Mission Hospital into the heart of Phuket Town, before proceeding to Sapa and Hin and finally returning to their respective shrines, both located just north of Phuket Town. Tomorrow, the processions will continue with six different shrines celebrating throughout the morning. For a full list of times and locations, go to thepuketnews.com. And that is all for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. For more on all these stories, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.